please take note that this video is just an opinion and please do not offend because this video is actually related to COVID-19 updates and it is also based on Duterte's speech last night. So as of yesterday, April 13 at 4 p.m., 4,932 of total cases in the Philippines. And wow, that is definitely a good news that there are more recoveries to be added than deaths. So 242 uh, that have been recovered while 315 died. So uh, regarding po sa speech ni Duterte, it's actually uh, about, uh, yes, it's usual every week nagkaroon ng addressing the nation yung sa, at saka pinapalabas sa lahat ng free TV, ABS-CBN, GMA, PTV4, CNN, at lahat po. Um, regarding po yung sa speech ni Duterte uh, last night, ayan, yung sa, yung, kung ayaw ni Duterte, and he doesn't want every single people or person to die of hunger. The answer is both. Mamamatay ka man sa gutom at sa virus. At saka kasi, uh, and also the most important thing is, we uh, don't have a vaccine just yet, pero in the coming months, kung meron, matatapos agad si COVID. And at yung sinabi yung ano sa DOH, kapag walang intervention or pagaan para meron na vaccine ng COVID, then it may last until next year, 2021. So, please keep in mind that everyone uh, should stay at home at huwag kang lumabas ng bahay. Kung wala masyado ipagtate na pupuntahan, such as yung sa pambili ng grocery. So, kahit may, ano, may bibili ba, kahit na total lockdown, still, only one person per household will only be allowed to go outside para makabili yung mga pangangailangan such as uh, yung sa, mga essential goods lang. Pero yung sa mga restaurant, take out only. Kinakailangan po tayo na kaligtasan. And the discussion about this is about the economy. Yung sa mga effective uh, way kung paano uh, ma-impact lahat yung mga sa mga trabahador. Yes, it impact all their jobs kapag na extend ang ECQ. Yes, this is actually extended enhanced community quarantine or ECQ. And kapag natuloy yan, then it uh, may affect uh, not just hundreds of thousands but even millions may affect their jobs. Kasi alam mo naman kasi yung mga health workers yung pinagpabawal ng papuntang abroad. But why, why is it? Kasi eh, nagsabi DOH naman to. And and remember, there is one uh, from the uh, live last night. So, how could they save their jobs? Kung nat- nakatuloy yan. So, they actually have to open small businesses para makatuloy sa trabaho nila. And also, dapat in the first place, dapat as early as uh, before or on December 31, na dapat kailangan uh, i-monitor yung sa coronavirus. But, they denied it. The World Health Organization denied it. Kasi paano yan? It is a definitely a big failure talaga. Talaga walang, walang perfecto talaga sa mga organizations, pati sa non-profit organization. At hindi talaga effective ang ECQ. Lockdown talaga, as in total lockdown. Wala na lumabas ng bahay, just stay at home. Yung iba, nag-iimbak na kung ano ibibili nila. So, uh, I know this is definitely serious, uh, way too serious than MERS-CoV, yun sa nangyari. Um, the, and also Ebola. Ngayon, COVID-19 ang tinatawag dyan. Or, or previously, NCOV. So, it's actually coronavirus disease. Uh, just to make sure, abbreviation lang, that China originated the virus in December 2019. So, America pa rin ang pinakauna sa mas maraming kaso sa moong mundo uh, 
and also the most number of deaths in the whole world. Pero tayo, kasi mabagal talaga ang insulta sa pag uh, sa pagtetes. We are definitely the worst one. Yes po, pinaka-worst sa ating lahat na mas marami tayo ng active cases, lalo na po nangunguna pa rin sa Southeast Asia. Anak ng talaga, paano ba ka talaga mang ng COVID na yan? Ang dami rin magpasaway. Yung local, transmis- yung local transmission kasi, it's actually based on the droplets, hindi yung, ano, yung transmission kung saan saan nang napunta yung virus na yon. One day, we can kill the virus uh, within one month, two months. Parang yung katulad sa China, the lockdown just lasts for 76 days, more or less. Then, it disappeared. Their lives went back to normal. And also, uh, pag-usapan natin about sa small businesses and the informal settlers. Doon na pinag-usapan natin about isa impact, isa ECQ. Um, some remained open for essential needs only. Then the rest have shut down or ipinasara muna. For now lang ha, kasi it is extended until April 30 of this year. Kaya, and remember, uh, ngayon araw po ay massive testing po, or mass testing po. Um, kasi yung mga kailangan po test ay, when we say rapid test, you have to be careful kasi there are times na hindi talaga apugbado ng Food and Drug Administration. Kasi huwag kayo magulat, mabagal ang resulta, marami din lumabas na, ano, ng bahay, yung sa mga kinakailangan, marami nang uh, nang lumalabag sa curfew, marami din na uh, para pagtitipon natay sa mga importante lang, pero do not uh, make mass gathering kasi yan ang pinagbabawa sa atin lahat. At uh, yun pala mass testing talaga kasi inaasahan na mas malaki o, o dadagdag na lalo o lumolobo na mga bilang na mga viruses. So, um, rest assured guys na kailangan po ipagdasal po natin that we hope that this crisis will be over anytime soon. So, yun nga lamang po, yung sinabi yung uh, regarding po sa mass, I know we still have mass and uh, we still have enough mass and other um, PPEs kasi pag wala yung ibang resource, yan, kung gusto no, kung gusto nyo ipa grow natin ang Philippine economy o mag-kickback sa pagtaas balik normal. Utang na naman. Yes. Debs. Puro na lang debs ang usapan natin. Yung mga utang na loob yan na gusto ipagtaas sa ekonomiya. Maghihingam na naman tayo ng pera ng bu- ang bansa na to. Kasi what more the rest of the world? Kasalanan talaga ang China which originated kumalat talaga ang virus. And, uh, at pag-usapan natin is actually, we have to save our jobs. Yes, iulitin ko, we have to save our jobs um, na kailangan para pagtapos ng quarantine, may kailangan po natin babayaran. Kung ayan nyo uh, bayak yan sa hospital, uh, yung sa buildings nyo, kung ayan mag, uh, mag-admit doon, if you are scared or Kung hindi kayo mag-afford sa pambayad ng hospital, all you have to do is just stay home. Uh, yung boss ko ay medyo malalim muna dahil, um, alam naman na, mapapahinga talaga yung boss ko dahil sa COVID. At naubusan ako ng boss ko sa mga nakalipas ng events, but it's okay that we must rest. So anyways, we got some new videos coming right up. There's one coming out tonight and... And please, um, ipagdasal po natin and we would like to thank uh, to our frontliners, lalo na po si Carol, uh, Carol Banawa, na hindi lang siya singer, kundi nag-iisang siyang frontliner. 
So, we have to pray and stay strong sa ating isa mga na gusto ipapatulong. Isa, yung frontliners kasi yung mga doctors, nurses, and yes, mostly yung mga pharmacist and kung gusto niyo talaga maidagdag sa mga frontliners, you can help them. At kung gusto niyo ipag-donate yung sa mga uh, kinakailangan ng mga um, Yes, only cash assistance lang po ang kinakailang sa donation. Um, makikita mo la lang sa screens, commercial break ng GMA and ABS-CBN. So, kindly, uh, it's actually a pledge para i-donate. Isang para sila po ay magsasukot sa pambibili ng mga kinakailangan. Only essential goods lang. For example, yung mga delata, yung, yung gatas, pati yung sa... Yes, yung mga healthy foods dapat. And also, wag kayo mag-alala kasi sila po ay magsasagot sa pag-aayuda ng mga homeless and poorest of the poor. So, one big prayer is definitely the answer. And every five in the afternoon, palakpak po natin sila para yung frontliners ay sila ay tumutulong bilang paglaban sa COVID-19. Anyways, this is Philip Miguel Garcia. Subscribe to my social media accounts and we'll see you guys next time.